Hello, how are you doing today? And in this tutorial, we will be talking about WordPress 3.0 and the difference between a blog post and a page. Now, the reason why WordPress is so popular is because it is so diverse and allowing you to be uh, creative and do a whole lot of different things with the website. Now, what is the difference between a page and a blog post? And to be quite honest, there's really not a whole lot of difference. Um, as far as posting it, but really it's the function and real and what you're doing with it. So if you're familiar with Twitter or with Facebook, when you are doing a status update on either one of those sites, basically what you're doing is you are you are doing a blog. So you're going in and putting in information, and as you enter a new information, it starts to slide down, and they just stack on top of each other. There, there's typically there's a date that's associated with it, and people can add comments, and they can be categorized. So really, there's a lot of great things that happen with the posts. Um, now, um, on the on the WordPress site here, you can see right here this is a blog post so if I went in and actually added another one um, you would see that it would continue to grow and uh, the next blog post would go in okay so um, now a page um, is basically it lays out uh, very similar to the same thing but really the big difference is, is that it is static and and that it's going to be staying there the whole time and that it is not going to change so uh, good things for blog posts are um, about us uh, services contact map calendars those types of things where it's really just one page specific and you want to you really want to pinpoint exactly what um, you are trying to say and it's never going to change now now for a blog post this could be like a press release this could be an event um, this could you could you could really put anything on a blog post but it's something that um, is going to be maybe has an expiration date or it, maybe it's just a specific article. Okay. Now, one of the great things about a blog post that actually make it unique over a static page is that you can categorize them. And basically, um, you can go in and you can create a you know, WordPress category and a Twitter category and a YouTube category. And then when people are trying to do searching, uh, for your site to try to find something specific so say let's say they're trying to look for WordPress post they just click on the WordPress and it would show all of those posts so it really does help when you're trying to do uh, when you're trying to categorize or doing searches for posts now the other thing that you can do which it doesn't show here there are tags so um, what you can do is I'm gonna click here um, and this will actually take you to the blog post where you can see so you can actually create tags um, and there's not an example here, but a tag is is you know just a keyword. Um, you know I'm sure a lot of people have talked to you about keyword density and adding keywords to your site. So when you're creating a post, there's actually an option over there on the side where you can go in and you can enter in uh, the specific post, so um, or the the specific tag or the keywords that you want to use. So um, you you can really create a lot of uh, search engine. Um, uh, optimization just by adding in those keywords and really helping it continue to grow so um, and one of the other big advantages to a blog post is as you can see here is that you can do commenting so um, as your post stays out there or how uh, you know the information that's on there as people find it they can log in down here at the bottom and they can actually post their comments so it's really exciting um, uh, what you can do the difference between a page and a blog post and I really hope that this video has helped um, you understand a little bit about that. In the next video, um, we're going to kind of show you how to set up a page and how to set up a blog post and what the difference are, differences are really uh, when you're doing that and, and how to make that happen. So thank you guys very much for listening and we hope to see you soon.